fourth biggest city. <laughs> uh, but it's still a small town, like 180, maybe 200,000 people. Um, so, Sebastian was my best friend, and we were Pella and Sebastian. <laughs> and this was like in, in early 80s, so long before Stuart Murdoch and his guy fell into that Oh yeah, I, I, was, I promise to be quick. Uh, <laughs> Sebastian and I, we started to walk around in the city centre uh, at this point of time. Late at night, very late. It felt like very late for us at least. It was probably like 9.30. <laughs> Dark. But it was, you know, it was in the autumn. I was going on 14, as I said. And, and then one day my father came up to me and said, Listen, um, Pella, uh, is it true that you and Sebastian are out, are, are out walking in the city centre at night and such? And I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, having a good time looking at things, you know. <laughs> being too cool for school, perhaps, but you know. And then he tried to explain that, well, you know, that might be a little dangerous because, who knows, maybe a group of older guys come up to you and they ask you for cigarettes or snooze, which is like tobacco that you put on your lip and things. And then when you tell them that you don't even smoke, they're, gonna, they're just going to find that as an excuse for starting a fight and they will punch you in the face for no reason. Really. And I was like, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, it sounded really strange. I was very naive at the time. Uh, the funny thing about this long story that I promised to narrow down to two minutes is that the very same night, Sebastian and I were out walking again in the city centre of Uppsala. When all of a sudden, from the other side of the street, there's this group of kickers. Uh, like karate people shouting like, Hey! You got any cigarettes over there? <laughs> 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 you just imagine what I felt. I, I thought, this is it, my time has come. <laughs> so I was pretty quick and, and said, Um, you know guys, we've just run out of cigarettes, I'm terribly sorry. But we're on our way to BP, the petrol station, we're going to have to buy some more cigarettes. <laughs> You know, the tank shelter close, close to where we were. Um, and then one of the guys said, Oh, that's great. So, does that mean that you have money then? <laughs> Maybe you could lend me uh, a fiver. And being afraid of uh, getting punched in the face and all, I just reached for my, for my wallet in my back pocket. Always kept it in my back pocket in those days. Don't anymore. Do you? It feels a bit corny to have your wallet in the back pocket of yeah. any gal. But, um, and the bracket. Um, so I reached for my wallet, opened it, had one yellow note saying five on it. A fortune at the time. Five Swedish was, that was my sort of, you know, allowance for one week. Uh, it was 50 cents these days. <laughs> this all took place in 1983. So, um, uh, here's the song, 1983. When I was in my early teens, my friend Sebastian and I Born identical pants of jeans started to stroll Thank you. 
They might punch you on 